Gone are the days when lockdown drills in schools are outside the norm. After the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newton, Connecticut, a new type of training was developed. It teaches students and teachers how to make tourniquets in the event of an emergency. And as our own Lindsay Mills reports, students in Somerset County are the first in the state to learn how to stop the bleed. Little red packs with gauze, scissors, and a blue tourniquet. They cost anywhere from $250 to $300, and it's the hope of one group that they become as readily available as defibrillators in public places like schools. We are trusting the public to learn CPR and those skills. Um, we're trusting them with EpiPens. Now we're trusting them with administering Narcan. So why wouldn't we trust them with learning how to control bleeding, how to properly apply a tourniquet to save somebody's life? There. Students at Karabek High School in North Anson are learning how to use them. Is this hurt? If something happens, I've got to help and I've got to be able to be ready. And having this training makes me feel even more ready. The Department of Homeland Security initiative called Stop the Bleed formed after the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012. A group of surgeons, medical professionals, law enforcement, EMS, um, the government got together and said, how can we increase the survivability of victims in tragedies like this? The program teaches the correct technique for applying a tourniquet, and when that's not an option, other ways to stop bleeding from deep wounds. I just looked at this as another tool, skill to give them, to prepare them for anything. I mean, whether there was an accident at home, work, um, just something else for them to have. And since December, the team at Reddington Fairview Hospital has trained 100 people. In Maine, 400 people have undergone the training, which is pretty awesome. cool.